Aw, isn't that romantic? If you think these lizards are just long-lost friends reuniting and hugging it out, guess again. Yep, in reality, these monitor lizards are fighting for dominance. The animal world is so diverse that every animal has its own unique combat style, especially when fighting for dominance or mating rights. Yep, the phrase the birds and the bees will soon have a very different meaning once you get through this video. Today, we'll be looking at why these lovely Komodo dragons are totally not hugging at all, the perverted things kiwi birds get up to when they hear females singing, and how these creepy spiders send each other love letters by giving awkward tap dancing performances. Alright, here are some of the seriously unusual ways animals fight for dominance. Kiwis Kiwis are already really weird birds, in that they're more closely related to ostriches than chickens or chicks. But when male kiwis hear females sing, they instantly start following her around and, well, tapping her bottom. This would be unacceptable in any other scenario, but with kiwis, it's pretty normal. The female will only accept if she thinks he's good enough. Who knew kiwis would be giving us relationship advice? Cobs So far, the kiwis were pretty calm and chill, but when it comes to cobs, a type of antelope, things can get heated real fast. They have gorgeous, yet pretty useless antlers. All they really use them for is locking with another male just to win over the ladies. What an intense approach. At last, the water has become a luba. Wolves Sometimes, parents don't want you to grow up too fast. These wolves don't want their daughter to mate because that'll mean more mouths to feed. But she runs away for a strange mysterious one, only to get busted by her parents and send her newfound lover running away. Tarantula mating Spiders might be icky and yucky to some, however, their mating ritual is very sweet. When a spider spots a female spider's nest, he walks over to her and taps a rhythm that attracts the spider. If the female is interested, she'll tap a love letter back to him. If she's not though, then she'll just eat him up. A simple yet effective solution. Yes. Yes. Oh no 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 no. Oh shoot. Bowerbird performance. Some birds dance to impress their mates. But the bowerbird has its own weird version of winking. It voluntarily dilates and shrinks its pupils. That's not all. Then it flaps its wings like it got something sticky on it. The weirdest part is, then it headbutts the female bird. Aren't we glad that humans don't do the same? Komodo Dragon Hug Fight Hugging is usually always a display of affection, but that only applies to humans, and not Komodo Dragons. These dragons might look like they're sharing a loving hug, or even mating, when in fact, they're fighting for dominance. This wrestling ritual ends up with one of them falling to ground and getting beat up. Ouch! Talk about tough love! Ostriches Dancing One good thing about animals is that they don't need music to dance. What, 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 what? In fact, these ostriches are so good at dancing, they could be on Dancing with the Stars. Its long curved neck spins just to attract the ladies. Hopefully, the judges like the dance. Ostrich, uh, please don't sing. Got it. <laughs> Praying mantis. These tiny insects were somehow caught in the act. But if you're someone who has no knowledge about bugs, you'd think the female mantis was a cruel villain. The female mantis mates by a very cannibalistic approach. She bites the male's head right off, for nourishment only and not revenge. Maybe. Rams Ramming Horns Have you ever wondered why rams are called rams? It's probably because of their brutal domination tradition. You see their amazingly thick horns? Well, they use that to absolutely wreck the opponent. They literally go head first into fights with all their might. Nature sure does work in unusual ways. Rhino 
Rhino charges. Rhinos fight each other for dominance to protect their gene pool, usually playfully. But if they smell a human or anything remotely unfamiliar, they'll charge without a second thought. The fact that they're mostly put on display for tourists doesn't help their rage. This one was clearly tired of being a trophy animal and ran right into a car. Ah! Ah! Bison's fighting. In the animal world, there is only one thing that matters to animals, reproduction. And to mate with a reliable partner, they'll go to lengths to fight for it. These fluffy beings hold a lot of rage in their fur, and that's why they're willing to fight each other so mercilessly. This just proves being fluffy and cute does not stop you from getting killed in the bison world. Guanacos fighting. Guanacos are practically llamas, except they're not as sweet as them. In fact, they're not pleasant at all. These two are fighting for dominance in the wilderness like regular animals, except their fight looks like two siblings clawing and biting at each other, rather than an actual fight. Things take a turn when they start jumping and clashing into each other with their whole chests. What a sight! Hippos fighting. When we say hippos fight dirty, we mean it literally. Hippos are big animals and don't have any trouble fighting, but when they want others to know that this is their territory, they have a simple solution for it. They simply spray their feces all over the place. It's completely disgusting and revolting, but it gets their job done. Moose. Moose, or as the Brits would say, elks, are much bigger than you think. An average moose is about 1,550 pounds heavy and bigger than the biggest horse in the world. And when they fight, their mighty antlers are the only things that are involved. But that's no issue for them, since they're very sturdy. Just locking antlers looks painful though. Koalas brawl. Koalas are the last animals to get involved in a petty fight. They're not territorial or full of rage. In fact, their fights aren't even real fights. They just push each other around and it seems like they kiss in anger too. What else can you expect from such a mellow and calm creature? Oh my god, this is running, running. Oh god. Peacocks fighting. Peacocks are known for their beautiful feathers, but the real weapon lies in their feet. They have kicking thorns attached to their feet and can slash their opponent at will. These two males seem to be having a tiny brawl where they suddenly try to slash each other while flying. But one of them uses this opportunity to attract any available peafowls in the area by spreading his tail open. That's the equivalent of touching up your makeup during a fight, and that's pretty bold. The Panda's fighting. A solitary animal like a panda doesn't like confrontation. In fact, they want to cuddle more than confront. But when they're annoyed, the fact that they're just as strong as most other bears comes into play. Ooh, ooh. Hey, ooh. Anglerfish. The deeper you go into the sea, the weirder things get. Take the anglerfish for example. The male fish is so small that it attaches to the female like a parasite and eventually gets absorbed by her. The male literally disintegrates, except its reproductive organs, which the female will later use for reproduction. We know exactly who's in charge here. Pufferfish. Pufferfish in the water are very artistic creatures. They make beautiful patterns on the sea floor to attract mates if their appearance is not up to par. If the woman can truly see the fish for its artistic brilliance, only then will it be a fair pair. Octopus. Octopus are creatures way too smart to fight. They have uncountable ways of getting out of fights and hiding and whatnot. However, even they're not immune to territory wars. These fights can end up in the octopi gobbling each other up. How gross. Elephant seals. Animals with four legs have a better chance at fighting and winning than those with, well, no legs. So when these elephant seals want to decide who gets to mate with who, it's a peculiar sight to say the least. 
all they do is smash their bodies right into each other's blubber. It may seem like it doesn't hurt, since they're quite chubby, but it can get bloody. Bullfrog Getting flowers and balloons for someone you like is a popular human display of affection. Frogs, on the other hand, don't have access to things like that. So, they settle by blowing up their throats in a seductive way, to female frogs, obviously. To us, it just seems like there's something stuck in their throats. That's not all. They turn bright yellow and blue just for the ladies. Not the best color comb, but it makes them stand out more than any other animal. <laughs> Kangaroos Boxing Animals have rituals that are nothing like humans. Not kangaroos, though. Apparently, they watched too much of Muhammad Ali and decided the only way to solve disputes was a good old boxing match. The scary part is that the kangaroo kick has a force of 850 PSI, enough to kill you right off the face of this earth. Better to avoid them, obviously. Oh, extreme kangaroo fight. <laughs> Hooded Gribs Here, we have two hooded gribs, not just performing a beautiful dance. Well, sort of. It starts out fun and good. That is, until they start bobbing their head and start their own version of salsa right on the lake. It might look like a really violent dance, but it's definitely a mating call, one that will attract everyone's attention. Giraffe Neck Fight Usually, we only see giraffes handing out peacefully and munching on leaves, but even they can get violent. And they use their only physical feature to fight, their long necks. This might look like a fun and friendly fight, but they won't stop until one of them is fatally injured. Yikes. Orangutans. When it comes to the fight for supremacy, orangutans can choose to be more of opportunists than warriors. This orangutan can be seen bullying and terrorizing its way to the top while the dominant male of the territory is away. He makes his way to the top eventually, but he never thought the boss would be back so soon. Orangutans also battle to the death, if need be, but for our opportunistic orangutan, he chooses to vacate his position, then to lose his life defending it. Bird of Paradise Charming Mating Rituals For birds as unique as the bird of paradise, the mating rituals have to be something out of the ordinary. These birds are native to New Guinea, Australia, and some nearby islands. These brightly colored birds make unique sounds and do the most to mate with a female. This guy is getting the stage ready for his grand performance. To impress his lady, everything has to be spick and span. He even practices his dance moves before he goes to invite her over. Something a lot of you guys know all too well about. The only thing this bird doesn't have is a mirror, but he'll manage. Next is to call her over. Showtime. And he gets to it quickly. Displaying his extraordinarily flexible feathers in the shape of what looks like a mask as he sings and dances for the female. For these guys, their performance determines whether the female will agree to mate or simply fly away. So far, so good. Red Garter Snake Unlike the birds of paradise that take turns to woe a mate, red garter snakes have to emerge winner in the race to find a mate as soon as they come out of hibernation. It's a quest of who wakes up first because the warmer they get, the faster they can find a mate. For these guys, finding a female is imperative as the females only mate once a year, and they are few and far between. Therefore, hundreds of these snakes churn out in search of female. Lucky we didn't have to go through something similar to find a mate. In a race of who wakes up first, our guys caught snoozing, and as they say, you snooze, you lose. And in this case, you don't get to mate for a whole season. So to make up for the lost time, he comes up with an ingenious idea. He fakes the smell of a female to lure other males to himself. Within minutes, he's flooded with horny male serpents, warming himself from their body heat just to get to par with the others. I wonder how he would come up with such an idea. I mean, this is a snake that slept for too long. I don't know, guys. I don't think you're practicing your social distancing. Cambodian Beta Fish If you were a Cambodian Beta Fish and you wanted to fight for dominance, you'd need to find a way to come up with the biggest gills. For these guys, the fish with the biggest skills always win. Consider it like someone who's got the most combat training and has the biceps to show for it. 
It's like Kevin Hart in a battle with Dwayne Johnson. Check out how the bluefish with the bigger gills is tearing into the other guy. Greater Sage Grouse If you ever tried to attract a female the way the Sage Grouse does, you'd get jailed. From their dapper looks to an eye-catching fan of tail feathers, a glamorous ruff of chest plumage, to making sounds that could be heard from three kilometers away. These birds put in a lot of effort for a moment of pleasure. They can be seen taking in up to a gallon in their air sacs to create their signature sound, which is done by these juddering moves. They even battle for the best display spot to woe a female. It's either an earthbound lunatic or the best dressed guy at the disco. Dart Frogs Check out these yellow dart frogs have a go at each other for the alpha spot at their new vivarium. It's like sumo wrestling with these guys, with grappling, climbing, and making high-pitched sounds. After the much-heated battle, they all agree to live together peacefully. Alpaca Settling an Argument We humans would try to resolve an argument by dialogue, and if things get a little too heated, we resort to fighting as a last option. But with alpacas, it's fight first and talk later. These alpacas are having a go at each other for who's to eat the hay first. They get so carried away with their duel that they didn't know a horse that lives next to them had eaten the contested hay. And when these creatures fight, it is usually accompanied by spitting. This guy on the other side wants to get in on the action. You see, when alpacas spit, they are left with what is called a sore mouth. This is when they choose not to close their lower lips because they don't actually like the taste of their own spit. I don't get why they spit in the first place. Both alpacas are left red-faced as the horse trots away, knowing full well what it has done. Nubian Ibex Like most animals with horns and antlers, these Nubian Ibexes have to battle for food and mating rights. Considering the fact that the dominant males have exclusive rights to the females, You'd understand why these animals vie for this position, and those at the top guard it so jealously. The horns of a Nubian ibex makes up 15% of its body weight, and these mountain dwellers have a skull well adapted to taking the battering that comes with such weight. A one vs one matchup is common amongst these animals, but sometimes there could be some overzealous contenders, like in this case. However, this three-way contest leaves everyone confused, and they decide to go their separate ways. Rattlesnake Fighting Ever wondered what it would look like if two rattlesnakes fought? I always imagined them getting all tangled up in the process, with all the swerving and curling. Well, these two snakes were caught fighting at the back porch of a woman in Arizona. The pair are having a go at each other without minding the onlooking woman and the light being shown on them. I wonder what they did to piss each other off. That's a wrap for the unusual ways animals fight for dominance. Which one of these gave you the heebie-jeebies? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to Forever Green, and we'll see you in the next one.